San Francisco, Cron, the suspect in connection with the fatal stabbing of an 18-year-old girl at the MacArthur BART station Sunday night is now in custody. It was announced Monday just after 6.45 p.m. That 27-year-old John Lee Cowell, a transient in the Oakland Emeryville area, was taken into custody at Pleasant Hill BART. Police say a BART rider's anonymous tip led to the arrest of Cowell, who was found aboard an Antioch-bound train. He was arrested without incident. Officials say Cowell was not armed when he arrested. When asked how Cowell was able to get back on a BART train following Sunday night's incident, Police Chief Carlos Rojas called the public transportation system very porous and said Cowell had a history of fare evasion. Authorities say Cowell stabbed 18-year-old Nia Wilson and her sister 26-year-old Lydifa Wilson late Sunday. The two were returning home from a family function. Nia Wilson, Daryl Allums, godfather of Nia Wilson court documents show a restraining order was filed in April 2016 by Kaiser Foundation against Cowell. Records indicate civil harassment of employee as the reason. In October of the same year, officials say Cowell was sentenced to two years in prison for second-degree robbery. Officials say he received 159 days of pre-, post-, and vested credit, the majority of which was granted by the judge in his case, for time served. In jail while awaiting to be sentenced, he was released on parole in May 2018 after completing the full term of his sentence. Here is a statement from Oakland City Council member Lynette Gibson McElhaney. The suspect accused of killing 18-year-old Nia Wilson was taken into custody tonight at the Pleasant Hill BART station. At approximately 5.50 p.m., BART officers located 27-year-old John Lee Cowell after receiving a tip from a BART rider. Cowell surrendered to officers without incident and is now in custody. According to BART Police Chief Carlos Rojas, Cowell will be interviewed by BART investigators tonight and the case will be forwarded to the District Attorney Nancy O'Malley. I spoke with DA O'Malley who explained that once her office receives the case, the matter will be arraigned in Alameda County Court on Wednesday. Her office will investigate this case closely and has not ruled out charging the attacks against Nia and her sister Latifa as a hate crime. In acknowledging the context in which this tragic crime occurred, Mayor Libby Schaff said, although investigators currently have no evidence to conclude that this tragedy was racially motivated or that the suspect was affiliated with any hate groups, the fact that his victims were both young African-American women stirs deep pain and palpable fear in all of us who acknowledge the reality that our country still suffers from a tragic and deeply racist history. Tonight, as I marched with members of Nia's family and hundreds of angry and grieving members of our community, I found myself moved by the as we shouted, Nia's world. I was overcome by the somber reality that this is just the beginning of the painful journey ahead for the Wilson family. I know too well that having the suspect in custody is of small consolation as the family makes final arrangements for Nia and prepares to follow this case through trial. I will keep you posted when I learn more about how community can help. To avoid grief scammers, use caution when sending donations to crowdsourcing sites until they are verified. What others are clicking on, greater than greater than more stories copyright 2018 next are broadcasting, Inc. All rights reserved. This material may not be published broadcast, rewritten, or redistributed.